So my name is Gustavo. Uh, I'm from the Ibero-American community, a concept that I will explain to you in the next slide. And uh, I will present to you the uh, Latin American conference of this year. So uh, what is the LATAM conference or the Latin American conference? It's an event that uh, has uh, the Latin America as a geographic area, but um, another important concept for us is the Ibero-America as a group of interest. What I mean is uh, the group of interest is not only the people from Latin America, but also from Portugal and Spain. We have a lot of, pe of people from there contributing with our community. And our main languages, for sure, are Spanish and Portuguese, but also, uh, depending uh, the place of the, de depending the location of the conference, and other languages, uh, as, for example, Guarani, that uh, is a native language from Paraguay and also an official language. Uh, and the, the goals of the event, uh, you know, uh, it's simple. It's uh, reach the local communities, uh, make new connections among the members, uh, encourage new contributors, um, meet the community. It's like our event here. There's no difference. The, the main difference is because it's an event hosted in Latin America with the main focus in the Ibero-American people. So our first uh, edition was in Asuncion in 2000. 19. This is the uh, official picture. It was an amazing uh, conference. You can see many people here. Italo, um, Shisco uh, is here, Daniel, Mauricio from Mexico, um, me, yeah, <laughs> uh, Enrique Castro from Bolivia, Olivier, um, and the local people. Uh, the group that uh, was responsible to translate um, LibreOffice to Guarani, um, oriented, men mentored by Olivier in many uh, 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 um, workshops. Uh, uh, she here is the Minister of uh, Native Languages from Paraguay. So, uh, it's our, it was our first uh, and important event to do a, a, a step to uh, think uh, uh, in big things in future. So after the success of Asuncion, we started to think to have our event, our next edition, in Costa Rica or Mexico, to have one edition in the south of Latin America and another edition in the north of Latin America. So uh, we had two uh, interesting alternatives. Costa Rica, where we had a great migration project with a great documentation uh, in, at the University of Costa Rica, and Mexico, when, oh, uh, where we, we have uh, a great community and uh, uh, nice uh, uh, connections with local projects, uh, uh, free software projects, I mean. But the problem was uh, the pandemic in Latin America. So um, we uh, didn't have alternatives uh, to, to, to have the event in person. So uh, the alternative was have online meetings uh, managed by Daniel from Argentina. Uh, we had around four or five events and 
also a specific track of our con conference, online conference in 2020. We have a, a track for Spanish and Portuguese uh, uh, speakers uh, and uh, with content uh, uh, from our, our group, uh, with uh, our community. And uh, it, it was really interesting because uh, we keep the engagement of our community with these uh, uh, um, online meetings. So this is uh, uh, the, the announcement of the first one. Uh, in Spanish, um, we call charlas en tiempos de aisla aislamiento. And um, it, it was uh, well received from the uh, community. Well, and during that time, uh, Olivier uh, was made a great job uh, involving the Brazilian localization team in uh, weekly meetings to discuss uh, about the project, the product, the community, and uh, uh, other topics. Uh, he uh, uh, invited the community for a, a, a kind of meeting, a kind of online meeting called Papo Libre, that, was, that could be translated as free speech, to talk about, uh, yeah, free chat or something like that, to talk about uh, uh, the interest of the members of the community, not, not only TDF members, but for, from all the community. And uh, uh, this uh, uh, strategy engaged the community during uh, uh, the last two years uh, in documentation and translation. And uh, uh, in the, in the, uh, when the, this year starts, for sure people wanted to meet in person. Finally, uh, uh, with the end of the critical uh, period of the pandemic, these people, these this, uh, members of the community in, in the picture uh, in the slide, uh, want to meet in person. So they started to discuss about alternatives to have a, 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 an event to uh, meet in person. So uh, as we had uh, three members of our community in Brasilia, one of them started to talk with the Catholic University of Brasilia. Brasilia, it's a great place to have an event in Brazil and also in Latin America because the city is in the center of the country. And it's a beautiful city with many places to, to visit, with good infrastructure. Then uh, the university uh, opened uh, its doors to receive the idea to have the event. And we started to discuss with uh, them to have our meeting. So uh, we started uh, 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 online meetings. Uh, a telegram group specific for our team to discuss the event, the idea of the event, and a WhatsApp group to involve the people from the university. They uh, don't use Telegram, but they use WhatsApp. Okay, no problem. So, <laughs> uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, meetings here. Uh, are uh, Luciano, Olivier, uh, uh, Rafael Lima, uh, the professor of the university, prof Professor Wesley. And uh, meeting after meeting, we decided to have the, uh, uh, meet the, the event in August uh, 25 and 26. Uh, for sure. <laughs> Uh, we started to, uh, this, is, this is real, uh, we invited uh, uh, you, uh, uh, 
members of the, the TDF, key, key members, uh, uh, the, uh, Gabriele from the, the, the membership committee, my colleague at the membership committee, uh, we invited uh, the board representation. Uh, Emiliano wants to, to, to go there, but uh, unfortunately not. But Lothar uh, come <laughs> with us <laughs> instead and did a great, a, gr a great job there. So uh, we started to, to think about the event, uh, and at this moment, we uh, uh, um, uh, already have the idea of the Latin American, the second edition of the Latin American conference. Uh, that was my suggestion. Uh, and I'm proud to, to share this with you. Because we uh, 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 won't uh, have time to have two events in the same year. So, uh, the group embraces the idea to have a, a regional conference instead just a meeting of the group. Uh, building the program, so we started to, to uh, think uh, 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 in a, a program for our conference. Uh, as I, I said, we invited uh, speakers. We, invite, we invited uh, uh, Italo, uh, Shisco uh, from Spain. Uh, it, it's a natural uh, 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 invitation. Uh, Lothar uh, come with, you, with us uh, representing the board. Uh, and, uh, well, our uh, uh, idea was increase the experience of Asuncion. So uh, we focused in our skills, um, Python and extensions. We have uh, many good people in Latin America working with this topic. Uh, we have Mauricio in Mexico and Rafael Lima in Brazil, so it's an amazing moment to keep them together, to, to, to meet them uh, and discuss about this uh, 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 topic. Uh, for sure, documentation, documentation uh, with the team, the Brazilian team, Olivier, uh, Tulio, Luciana, uh, Anderson, Jackson, uh, Aeliani, um, Timothy, a, a lot of people involved with the Brazilian documentation. Uh, QA with Cisco, for sure. And uh, a focus in the mainstream topics, as I said in some moments in our conference here. Uh, Woman and Foss with Eliani, talking about uh, this important topic for us, not only uh, regional but global. Uh, crypto, uh, with me, uh, I uh, presented a, a, a lecture about how to use Calc to prevent the market, uh, uh, the market uh, volatility. Yeah, volatility. Thank you. And uh, top, uh, an interesting local topic about the LGPD the Brazilian GDPR, our version of the GDPR. And a lot of another uh, 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 um, topics, but uh, I, uh, from, from my point, point of view, this was uh, the, the uh, main uh, uh, set of interesting things we, we uh, presented in the conference. Communication, communication, uh, an important topic because uh, we had our event in a university and we decided to have the event in datas when the semester started. To have people from the university, the students, with us. So, uh, 
this work uh, is mainly responsible uh, uh, for... Uh, uh, Eliane was the main responsible for this part of the, 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 the uh, action uh, with the support of the others, for sure, for, with Tulio, for example. And uh, we made <clears throat> some small pieces to share uh, by mobile. For example, the, the main announce of the conference, the call for papers, uh, some uh, interesting uh, 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 lectures, and little shorts to spread the announcement of the conference uh, also in mobile. There, was, uh, there are uh, uh, shorts in Portuguese, Spanish, and English. I will, I will uh, uh, show you the one of, <laughs> of them or two. I, I can. I, uh, ah, thank you. Italo, Italo and Lothar after, but okay. Um, better download? Okay. Okay, um, I will uh, uh, go ahead. Um, I will go ahead uh, after the download, I will play the video. But it, it's a small video with the invitation from Lota, Shisco, uh, Olivier, I, uh, Italo, and um, to um, to spread the idea of the event uh, by mobile. So this is the group um, that uh, organized the event, the core team. You can see uh, many names uh, I I I uh, talk. Um, there are uh, professors from the university, uh, Sebastian, Wesley, Rafael, uh, Olivier, Anderson, Jackson, Eliane, Lothar, Luciana, Daniel, Mauricio, eu, I, uh, Xisco, and <laughs> me, and uh, Italo. So, more pics, more pics. This is the... Uh, Overture session, you can see the line of the chairs at si th this side and at the another side because there's no space for people in the auditorium. Another another picture here, very interesting, nice, nice, and you can see uh, Olivier. Olivier is there doing the overture of the conference. Olivier and uh, Lothar and uh, Italo and the professor Wesley. Here is the uh, workshop made by Shisco, a, a success, but uh, a topic to f improve for sure. We should uh, 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 talk about uh, after because it 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 is great to have a full. Uh, 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 room, yeah, but we need to think about the next step, and uh, I'm happy to 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 see that is the same that uh, Shisco talked in one of our meetings, and uh, this idea will be in our uh, uh, review. This is the Python uh, lesson, uh, the Python workshop uh, made by Rafael. Also, full uh, room. This is the official picture. <laughs> it's uh, it was a bit different that we we Im imagined at the at the uh, uh, start of the event, but it it was interesting. 
So, uh, review, a little review. Speakers from six, six countries, Brazil, Argentina, Spain, Germany, Mexico, and it Italia. Uh, 18 lectures and 10 workshops. Uh, participation from people uh, from, from the FOSS ecosystem, the local ecosystem, LPI, SUS, uh, NUCLEP, uh, and others. Two certification sessions, one um, of uh, Brazilian, uh, from the, the guy from NUCLEP, and another one uh, from Spain with our friend Juan, uh, and 3,073 attendees in the uh, uh, event. Mainly, mainly, 300, sorry, thank you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> next time, yeah. Uh, about it, it's important uh, because um, this uh, was mainly students, as you, you, you saw. But um, uh, we can improve some. Uh, um, we can improve uh, some uh, 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 aspects of the event uh, for the next ones. Uh, we can, and we cannot. We should streaming uh, our activities online. People asked. Uh, before the event, during the event, and after. Why not streaming? It, it was a point to discuss with the local team in the next events. It's important. Um, with three, okay, it's the last one. Okay. Uh, we should include basic lectures. As, uh, uh, as you know, uh, we have a lot of students Many, uh, the most part of, of them uh, want to know what is LibreOffice. So we should include something like LibreOffice first steps, what is the LibreOffice, what is the community, uh, what is the ecosystem, what is, what is. They want to know what is this kind, this kind of event, what is this kind of community? Um, we also uh, maybe should split uh, lectures and workshops because uh, uh, we, we should balance the, the presence of the attendees. What I mean is um, we had a lot of people in many moments of the event, but in the Friday, <laughs> because this you should avoid the Fridays, uh, we didn't have uh, full rooms. We have a few people in the rooms. So we can improve this part of the, the planning, uh, maybe split lectures and workshops. And one topic I, I, I was talking uh, with Shisco, uh, res reserve some time for the community discussion. Not only workshops, 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 lectures, lectures, lectures. Let get a moment for us and made a circle to talk with us, each other. Right? So, um, this uh, is, is my view of the event. Uh, uh, for sure, uh, Lothar, uh, Shisco, Oliver have their own visions. And uh, well, if you know, if you want to, to share, Olivier, if you want to share another comment or topic, feel free, okay? Because it, it, it's the end of the presentation at this time, okay? <laughs> And we have about one minute for a question. Uh, Olivier, if you want to say something, we have some minute, one minute. I just want to say that, <coughs> sorry. I just want to say that uh, having events of community involving universities is, uh, is a great initiative to um, catch the interest of young people 
And uh, the free software communities and the free software philosophy is very good for them to start immediately exercising their skills. And uh, for that, we need to uh, address the universities in the sense that the university has its priorities. We have all priorities and we have to align both of the priorities. And there is a lot of synergy that can be exploited. And, uh, but uh, you, you just uh, need to take care of uh, all the partners in this uh, kind of event. Uh, thank you, Olivier. Uh, ju just as one more uh, thing. A big thanks to all of TDF staff to, uh, because they help us a lot to do it, okay? Florian, Sophie, Gilliam, um, yeah. <laughs> Stefan is there. Uh, uh, all of our colleagues from the TDF staff uh, a big thank you. Thank you okay? <laughs>